Hey coders and welcome to episode 2 of our drive service playlist on the Google Apps Script course. In this video we're going to be examining folders. So if you remember Google Drive organizes your data in a file storage system and what that means is that there are two main components folders and files. So I'm sure you're aware files are the actual data themselves but, for, but folders are not so much data they're rather containers for that data. So you can store files within folders and you can store actually folders within other folders. So there can be nested folders. And again, this just helps to kind of organize and manage all the data if, if, if all of your files grows to a very large number. So I have picked out five methods for today. They are get folders, get folders by name, get root folder, create folder, and finally set name. So let's dive into the code and see how these five methods can help us with managing our folders. In Google Drive, everything actually is contained within a folder, and that is because when you create a new Google account and a Google Drive is provisioned for you, automatically behind the scenes, something called a root folder is created for you. So if we go into our Google Drive, we can see that we have two all uh, folders that we manually created right here, but we also see that we have a lot of different files outside of those two folders. So where are all of these files actually stored? Well, they are stored within something again called the root folder, and that is right here. So this is our drive. If we expand our folder uh, hierarchy or our, our folder tree, we can see that we have created these file or these folders right here. But this root folder was created automatically and that is how we can store all of these files uh, just, just here. It's because they are actually stored on the root folder. So let's say that we want to get access to that root folder programmatically. There's actually a special method for this and that is something called uh, driveapp.git root folder and again this is a special method to get the root folder. There's only one root folder so it just returns that folder as is. Let me just tack on a, uh, uh, a git name method just so that when we log or log this, we can see that it is working uh, as intended. All right, so if I hit the save button and I hit the run button, looks like it ran successfully. Again, we are going to our drive app, we are getting the root folder, and then we are getting the name of that root folder. So let's check out our logs. And as you can see, the name of that root folder is called my drive, which we can verify if we go back into the UI, it is indeed called my drive. All right, so again, that is the root folder. Let's go on to our very next method, and that is get folders. So uh, if we wanted to get, say, all of the folders within our root folder, one way we could do that is to say drive app dot get root folder, and then we could say dot get folders. But this is actually kind of a redundant way of doing things, and that is because um, Google our drive app assumes that whenever you say drive app, you are actually or we are actually going to start out in the root folder. So I can actually just hit this delete that is assumed and we could say drive app dot get folders. And what this is going to do again is it's going to get all of the folders within the root folder by default. Again, if we specify say a get folder by ID and when we pass that ID in and then we are working within that folder, then if we call get folders within a specific folder, it's just going to get the folders within again that specific folder. Anyways, we have looked at this method get folders before in our last episode, so I'm not going to spend too much time on it. But again, this get folders method is going to return for you all of the folders with within whatever folder you are operating in. And then to, again, to access those folders, uh, all you need to do is hit or you need to type in the dot next method because again this get folders method returns a folder iterator. All right so let me just uh, move on now to the very next method and that is get folders by name. So this is incredibly similar to the get folders method. The only difference is that when we say drive app dot get folders by name we are actually specifying the name of the folders that we want to get. So again, get folders gets 
all of the folders within a specific folder or the root folder, say, um, but get folders by name only returns those folders uh, with a specific name. Again, it returns a folder iterator because a name is not unique. If you were getting them by ID, again, an ID is unique, so it just returns that folder. But since names can be um, uh, replicated across many folders, it returns for us a folder iterator. So let's say that we wanted to get this folder right here, example folder. All that we would need to do is say get folders by name. We would type in example folder. And there is actually only one folder in my Google Drive called example folder. So all that we would need to do is hit the next, or uh, we would just need to type in dot next append this dot next method to get folders by name and that will return for us the folder that we're interested in. Again, I know that because there's only one example folder or there's only one folder that is called example folder. So if I type in dot next, that is going to return for us this one right here. All right, so let's go on now to our very next uh, method, and that is create folder. So in all of these, we have been uh, just getting the folder, and then after we get the folder, we can uh, perform operations on that, or we can perform methods on that, say get name, or uh, there's there's other ones like get date created or get description. Uh, a lot of these are in the documentation, and you can explore them. But now let's say that we wanted to create a folder programmatically. So let me just actually comment all this out. I'll type in drive app. And again, we are in our root directory. If we wanted to change uh, our directory or our folder, we could just say again, get folders by name, for instance, or get folder by ID. And then that would change us, uh, that would change our folder. But let's create a new folder within the uh, root directory. So if I say drive app dot create folder, again, the root folder is implied right here if we don't specify a folder. It, so I'll say dot create folder, I'll give it a name, that's the required parameter. So I'm going to create a folder within the root directory and that is called users, but let's say that now um, I wanted to create a folder within this users folder. Because this method right here, create folder, returns for us the folder that we just created, we can actually chain these methods together and then say create folder within this folder. So we'll give this uh, this subdirectory or this subfolder a new name. We'll say profile data. And now if we hit the save button and the run button, then it looks like everything ran successfully. So let's go check out our Google Drive. And as you can see on the far left here, we have this new folder called users within our root folder, my drive. And if we uh, dive deeper into that folder, we can see that the profile data folder was created as a nested folder within users. If we click on this uh, button right here, then you can verify that again, profile data is within the folder called users. All right, so that is pretty cool. Let's do one more method for today, and that is called set name. So let's just say that we wanted to now um, overwrite this name. We, we originally called it profile data, but let's say that we want to give it a new name. Well, the way to do that would, you, would be to use the method set name. So let's get uh, our drive app back out. We'll say get folders by name. And the name currently of this folder is called profile data. So I'll pass that in right here. So this is going to search again all of our Google Drive starting from the root directory for the names of the folders called profile data. And I only have one folder that is named profile data. So I can be quite sure that if I call the dot next method on that, that's going to be getting the desired folder. Anyways, now we have our folder. And if I say dot set name, then I'm going to overwrite the name of whatever it's called right now, which is profile data. And let me just say profile pictures as its new name. So if I hit the save button and I hit the run button, it looks like it ran successfully. So let's go check out our Google Drive. And as you can see, the name of this folder right here has been changed to profile pictures. So that is how to overwrite and change the name of certain uh, folders. 
and and that will conclude all of our five methods for today so guys i hope you enjoyed this video and learned something from it if you did don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons and i'll see you in the next exciting video which is going to be on files